Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Pascal Marchef and this is Chef's Choice. Another country of the north released their entries for their national selection. This time it's Denmark and the Dansk Melody Grand Prix. You find all my earlier reviews of the national selections and chosen songs for Tel Aviv in the two playlists up here. Now, I didn't quite agree with Denmark's choices the past two years, but maybe this time I have the same favorite. But of course, before we see any live performances, it's basically just a guess, because everything changes when we see and hear them perform. But let's look at my current top 10 for now. Tight sums will step it up. This is a cringe fest from beginning to end. I mean, imagine walking up to a woman and telling her she's got those hips that you like because they're making you hot and then trying to impress her with those dance moves. Uh, I don't think I need to say more. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Nine, Sigmund, say my name. People are complaining about Bilal Hassani only winning this French selection based on his personality and because he represents the LGBT community. But here you clearly see the difference between just relying on your personality and actually having a good song to go along with it. Because this just doesn't work on any level. You could take me anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'd follow. Eight, Simone, Emily, Anywhere. It feels like you're skipping through a variety of songs within th three minutes. There are so many different sections in this song that it's confusing and despite a beautiful voice and liking some parts in it, it just doesn't work as a whole. Seven, Julie and Nina, League of Light. It sounds very northern, which is great, but it's a song we have heard many times before. It's not terrible, just a little unimaginative. It might be nice together with the performance, but it wouldn't be a good choice to send to tell. Six, Yasmin Gabay, Kiss Like This. I actually like this song, but it's always a little strange getting Latino sounds from countries that have no relation to it. It immediately makes it feel a little calculated, generic and inauthentic. However, it is quite well done, so if the performance is done right, I might not be too mad if it makes it to Tel Aviv. So I Erasmus Fartoft, Hold My Breath. I tend to always put the generic ballads higher than the generic upbeat songs, because if they are sung with a lot of emotions, it doesn't bother me that much. And I do actually really like this song. Of course, it's not very innovative as well, but it's a beautiful melody and a matching voice. It wouldn't be easy to qualify with this. For humor expression, the running of Barin. That's something fresh. It's not what I would usually listen to, but it sounds new to my ears and I appreciate to hear the Danish language. Overall, I think though that the song doesn't really go somewhere. Also, that the music video doesn't seem too promising that they can actually do a charismatic performance that would be necessary. Love is forever. Three, Leonora, Love is Forever. I really like this because it's so easy breezy and it makes me smile. But here as well, it, I can't really see this having an impact on a huge say, stage, as it's just not an arena song. But maybe she has a few tricks up her sleeve that make the performance work. Two, 
two, Lilo, that vibe. I actually surprised myself when I put this as my number two. But after hearing all the songs, it stands out as a well done, good mood dance song. It has a retro touch to it, which is maybe why I respond well to it. But of course, it's one of those pop songs that all kind of sound the same. So standing out in the end in Tel Aviv might be harder than here. But I do think it's one of the most interesting songs in this selection. <laughs> And place number one, Marie Isabel, dancing with you in my heart. I cannot believe that this is my number one, because I feel like that this kind of song would usually never make it into my top five. But maybe it's Marie's attitude, maybe it's the music, maybe it's just the feel-good vibes. I have no idea whether this could work in Tel Aviv, but I think this could be such a happy and unique entry for Denmark that the audience could appreciate. So are you as surprised as I was about my top two? Or what are your favorites for Denmark? Tell me in the comments below, please. And of course, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For now, thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend and I see you soon. Bye.